An act of defiance at sea. A Coast Guard officer from the Philippines, armed with a knife and an order from his president, slices through a rope laid by China, part of a barrier placed by the Chinese Coast Guard. You're facing off against literally the largest navy in the world. We don't want to face off with them. We just want them out of our territory. China and the Philippines are locked in an angry maritime territorial dispute. The standoff taking place at a shoal here in the South China Sea, some 124 miles from the Philippines and around 528 miles from mainland China. China claims virtually all of this busy body of water as its own, ignoring competing claims from the Philippines and several other countries. The Philippines has thrown away a previous policy of accommodation with China. Though much poorer and smaller, this island nation is now standing up to Beijing in what appears to be a David and Goliath face-off at sea. Officials in the Philippines have released images of a Chinese Coast Guard ship blasting at a much smaller Philippines vessel with a water cannon. Just some of China's bullying tactics, says the Philippines defense chief. Shadowing, harassment, dangerous maneuvers, water cannoning, and uh, military-grade lasers being used on the vessel. In 2016, an international tribunal ruled in favor of the Philippines, concluding China has no historic rights to these disputed shoals. But Beijing refuses to accept the court's decision and claims the U.S. is behind the current tensions. South China Sea was in peace until the U.S. came to disrupt it. And we're going to stand up more because it's an insult to our integrity, an insult to our intellect, and an insult to our common sense. The Biden administration reminding that any attack on a Philippine ship or plane in the South China Sea would demand a U.S. response under a mutual defense pact. That raises the stakes in this high sea confrontation. After cutting the Chinese barrier, the Philippines Coast Guard brought home a Chinese anchor, a trophy and a symbol, officials here say, that they won't surrender a single inch of their territory.